Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'll be uh, demonstrating how to use AOMEI's Partition Assistant Home Edition. We're going to be doing a uh, one of the features that the program offers to allocate free space from one partition to another partition. Now let me start the program up. And here we, it brings up to the main window. You'll notice that it's got all your disk drives connected and it shows you which ones are which, shows you all their capacities and stuff. What we're going to do is work with disk one. This is the primary disk of this computer. Now, you'll notice that it says for my drive C, which is the main drive, it's got a capacity of 264 gigabytes. Now, this really isn't a big deal, but for those of you who have a smaller hard drive, uh, many manufacturers today use a secondary partition. Now, in some cases, it's hidden and you don't see it, but this program will show it. As you'll notice, below it, it says recovery, and this is my uh, system recovery partition that's on the same drive. Now, as you can see down over here, it's also highlighted in the uh, bar graph, whereas it's highlighted up here to give the details. Now, you'll notice that there's a difference between the partitions. Now, the partition here, where it shows, it shows you in the dark area how much data or how much of the hard drive is being used. The lighter color on this side indicates how much free space you have on there. Now if you look over here to the right I'll highlight the my recovery partition. Uh, if you look to the top here it shows that the capacity of the partition is just under 33 and a half gigabytes. Well, the space that's being used is only five and a half. Now, if you can take the 33 minus the five and blah, 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 you, it, you know, as it says here from free space, this is, I've got almost 28 gigabytes of free space. Well, the recovery partition isn't active and it's not used it only stores all of your uh, software and operating system that came with the computer the day you bought it. And it's there, so in case you have to reinstall your system, the recovery partition is for, re it will help restore your computer back to its original state. Now, with all this space wasted, if you had something like this on your hard drive and you're running out of space, you know, you can, re we can, sh I'll show you how to allocate the free space from one partition to another. And it's very simple to do. Now, since this one here, I don't need all that space for a recovery partition. So, let's change it. You go to the right here. Well, first you uh, select a partition like I did here. And then it's highlighted. And then over here to the left, we'll go to the fourth uh, function from the top where I have it highlighted. It's called Allocate Free Space. You click on that. Now, what we want to do is the window will pop up. And it's called Allocate Free Space. And then you can do it from one partition to another. Now, at first, where it's highlighted, you'll see that it says Allocate Free Space. And then it'll say From Drive to the Other Drive. Now, what we're going to do is select how much free space to move. And you can do that. 
either by using the up and down arrows here, or you could type it in. Now remember, you have to uh, be sure you put GB for gigabytes, or MB for megabytes, after the number. Now here it shows 13.72. Now I will go up to as high as I can. Now the current one, it will show you what the, once you adjust to the maximum, like I want to uh, switch over 26.72 gigabytes from drive Z, which is my recovery, to my operating system, which is C. And as you can see, it's already selected. Now, I only can do this on the same drive. And since I've only got two partitions on this drive, it will only let me go from Z to C, or from the, same, uh, the recovery partition to the OS. Now, if you have multiple uh, partitions, then you can tell it which partition to give the space to. But in most cases, you won't have any more than two. And that's usually because the second one has your recovery software on there. Now, once you get this set, uh, it'll say down here that the current Z partition, which is my recovery, is only now 6.73 gigabytes now. And that my drive or my partition C will now be 291.36 gigabytes. So you can see there's a huge difference between the original 264 to now 291. So it gives me more space. Now you can't allocate the entire space of free space to your other partition. And because of that, uh, that's because drive needs some empty space to work with, especially when you run your recovery software because it has to run off of the recovery drive or the recovery partition. So you, it won't let you allocate all of the free space. Now, once you have your allocation set, choose OK. And, as you can see, this is what it's going to look like once it's finished. Now, you see the difference? I get all this space from here and shrunk the partition to a smaller size because that partition isn't used. You don't store stuff on there. All it is is just recovery. That's it. Now, up here, you'll notice that the changes. Now it's up to 291, and that's up to 6.3 6 gigabytes, and I'm only using 5.5. So I dropped from using 33 gigabytes to only just under one and a quarter gigabytes. Now, keep in mind that once you get it set, you need to come to the lower left-hand corner and check to make sure you got your operations done. And it's going to tell you the first thing it's going to do, the second, and the third. First, it's going to resize the partition. Then it's going to move it. And then it's going to resize my primary partition. Now, once you've uh, checked this, you go up here to the top left-hand corner and choose Apply. Now, again, the window will pop up. An overview of what's going to be completed. As again, it says here it's going to resize the partition. It's going to drop it from 33.45 gigabytes to 6.73. And then the second operation, scroll down, it's going to uh, relocate it. Now, the, sec the start sector here, it shows you where it's going to start. And, of course, you know, with larger drives, the, sector, the sectors get higher and higher. And it's going to show you where it's going to move to. It's going to move from the uh, 55 or the 5 billion or whatever 
uh, cluster up to six. Well, the final operation is going to resize the partition for my primary uh, partition, C. And you'll notice it'll go from 2 uh, 264.64 gigabytes to 291. Now, it says here the estimated time to do this will be about 16 and 3 quarter minutes. Roughly about 17 minutes. It all depends on the computer and the hard drive as to how fast this operation can be performed. Now, once you OK it, choose Proceed. And it wants to be sure that you want to start. Then choose Yes. And let it do its thing. Now, depending on how much uh, space you're moving will also depend on how long it will take. Now, when the operation is complete, the window will pop up alerting you that it is complete. Just click OK. And now, you have reallocated free space from one partition to another. And it will work in both ways. Now, if you're working with the primary uh, drive, such as I did, uh, you may have to reboot your computer, depending on what the, the process has to do. If it requires moving data, then it may have to reboot the computer to do so. But that's it. That's space. This is all it takes to allocate free space from one drive to the other. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation for ES Repair. Thank you for watching.